Hi everyone, welcome to a new year of Creative Suite TV. This first episode we're going to be looking at Acrobat, Acrobat 10, brand new version. You might be familiar with being able to put on sticky notes onto PDF and I've got a whole bunch of sticky notes right here. Oh, that one's not sticking too well. We know, all know how to do that. This one has got a brand new feature where we can export out of a PDF directly back to work and you will be amazed with the results. Welcome to a new year of Creative Suite TV. This is Acrobat 10. Well, it is time for Acrobat 10. Probably I should do some more Acrobat um, presentations because there's a, there's a ton of really cool stuff in here for creatives and PDF portfolios is one that we're, we're definitely going to do. Make, you know, send me a comment, remind me. PDF portfolios, we've got to do that because it's awesome. But if you haven't seen Acrobat 10, the one thing I wanted to really focus on in this particular episode is being able to take content from a PDF and export it back out to Word. Now this can be particularly useful um, as a designer if you need to grab some text and, and, and try and you know work it into a new document or whatever. Sometimes clients send you, send you PDF. You'd like to be able to use the text out of it and keep some of the formatting. Whatever reason, sometimes we need to get content out of Acrobat. Okay, So let's say for example um, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, we need this section here on um, abs, butts and thighs, uh, perhaps. That's maybe what we're after. There's a couple of pages here. We need to export it out to Word. How do you do it? Okay. You'll notice the new interface here. Um, really great. So not a lot going in the menu bar like it used to be. All the tools are under over here, but we're not looking for any of that. We're going straight to the Save As command. So straight under File, straight down to Save As, and then scroll over here to Microsoft Word. Now, make a mental note here that if you do have a spreadsheet, let's say um, you don't have a copy um, of the original Excel document or original spreadsheet, you can export directly out to Excel. And it is, don't tell anyone, extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. Is what I just said. So anyway, keeping that in mind, let's do the Word document. Notice there are some tables in here and some other bits and pieces and we'll see how accurate we can get with this fantastic document supplied to us from the Box Hill Institute. Okay, so file, save as, Microsoft Word. Let's just do a Word document. I'm going to go ahead and save this onto my desktop. There's already one there so we'll replace this Obviously, every single episode of Creative Suite TV is uh, trialed and practiced before going to air. Not really. I usually just record them and then put them up and hope for the best. So let's, uh, let's find that document. Uh, desktop. Um, here we go. Double click it. Open it. Now I know what you're thinking. OMG stands for, oh my goodness. Let's have a look. Abs, butts and thighs. All the text is there. Um, tables are in tables. And we can scroll through and, and have a look. Isn't this unbelievable? All the formatting there. Tables are there. We can adjust the tables. Let me just adjust. I don't know much about Word. What I do know though is that I don't normally like it. But I'll, I can drag these things in and, and all the rest of it. So I know you were thinking that this probably isn't going to work. It worked. That's unbelievable. So there is a ton more stuff to Acrobat. Just one tip to get you up and running really quickly. If you're looking for any tools or whatever in Acrobat, it's over here now. So all of the tools for pages, content, making forms. There's even a new action wizard in here. Um, document processing for signing protection. All of that stuff now is underneath the content. And I think because I've got time, I'm going to show you one more thing. If you have a really large document, this is a, by the way, super bonus mega tip. If you have a really large document that you need to email, take advantage of the share tab as Adobe have provided a new service called Use Adobe Send Now. And what it allows you to do is store it on one of our Adobe servers for you know however many days you want. And it uploads it there and then 
it will email a link to people so they can go and download it. So if you don't want to email around a 100 megabyte file or a 50 megabyte file or whatever it is, upload it to Adobe Send Now. It'll send the link around to whatever email address that you, you put in here and then Bob's your uncle, they can download it. Saves you a lot of time, saves your customer or your friend a lot of time. And away you go. So a little bit about Acrobat 10. Hopefully you liked it. It's very, very useful being able to export both Excel and Word documents, Office documents, straight out of Acrobat 10. We'll see you again real soon. I've got some exciting stuff playing for 2011. <laughs>